All right, I am back with another Destiny 2 video, even though it is increasingly hard to make these because Bungie is saying nothing about Season 17. Um, I have not seen any valid leaks, or what I would call valid. I really haven't seen anything, honestly. Uh, at this point, I don't even think I'd cover leaks. I think I'm just going to wait another 36 hours or whatever it's going to be. Uh, but since there is really nothing to go on, I have exhausted all my theorizing for the most part. I figured I'd kind of just make a video about how I am heading into Season 17. Um, power level doesn't really matter. It's only going up by 10. They're raising all the caps and things by 10. It's just like kind of a pinnacle power grind. I never care enough to like actually grind out to the <laughs> pinnacle power level anyway. I usually get to like five or so just randomly and stop. I don't like going for our pinnacles every week, so this will be fine. I think most stuff is like 1550, and obviously we're going to lose artifact power. Um, but as long as you're 1550, you can run the dungeon and stuff like that, and then you'll get to plus whatever over time. Uh, so I will go through kind of the setups I have, as you may be able to guess from uh, my girl here. I am going for solar builds. I am assuming that we are going to be doing... Uh, Solar 3.0. I know they haven't confirmed it. I know it's weird. They haven't said one or the other yet. They said they for sure are not doing two subclasses at once. They have said that explicitly. I've seen some people guessing that that might be the big surprise. It is not the big surprise. It is one of them. I think it's Solar. There have been so many clues that it's Solar, and that's what I'm going with. As such, uh, I probably should change the Solar, but... <laughs> I am going with Dawn Chorus for my Warlock. Uh, it's not even 1550 yet. Um, this is the exotic that makes Daybreak do a lot more damage. Um, it's, uh, yeah, Daybreak projectiles make you do more damage to the targets. All your burn effects last longer and you gain melee energy each time one of your burns damages a target. Uh, you can use this to kind of float around and kill things with your, um, projectile energy and then get energy back from that. I just think extending burn is going to be very valuable because we obviously know that burn is going to be one of the kind of key keywords of uh, Solar 3.0. So anything that has anything to do with burn seems like it's going to be a good idea. I do not have like a super, super elaborate build set up here. You will see on, on all three classes, it's mostly the same thing. It is some variant of a uh, solar elemental well build. I have Well of Life on the Helmets. Uh, I have Elemental Ordinance. You kind of just have to plan for a generalized build at first. Um, also, I have one. <laughs> I have uh, a little too much um, stacking of uh, <laughs> recovery. I didn't even notice that. Uh, as you will see, these are not like the most hyper advanced builds. Uh, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we don't know what, what it's going to be. I'm going to lose these mods because these are going away. I have Bountiful Wells on. So like... We, we know there's going to be a bunch of aspects and fragments that we can't really plan around. So if you're just doing kind of the general well builds and then maybe a few of these solar bonuses, uh, melee well maker for that, uh, and then font of might. So this is giving a, a bonus damage to solar weapons and you are going to be running solar weapons probably because given that uh, a lot of the stuff triggered on void weapons for void 3.0, you kind of have to assume that the same thing is going to happen. Uh, my weapons for this build are um, the Fortissimo, the new, this is the Crucible shotgun where you can either do the health regen thing or you can do um, reloading grants you bonus handling and flinch. I like bonus handling on this thing, it feels good. This is my demo Adrenaline Junkie build um, and that seems like that's gonna be pretty useful given that uh, we know Void 3.0 grenades were crazy. I assume solar grenades are going to be um, just, you know, really good as well. So, uh, Skyburners, I'm going with this because this is getting a total top to bottom rework and Warlocks seem like they're still going to be doing floaty air things and this will have the built-in highest aim assist or airborne whatever effectiveness of anything in the game, I think, or any exotic in the game. They are changing it so the masterwork uh, thing is intrinsic. That range is going to be intrinsic. I think it's going to get more reload speed for the masterwork, uh, and then it is getting a, a huge rework of it's becoming hit scan, and then the grenades are changing from uh, like lob seeking things to like literally like literal grenades with like an arc, and they will have burn damage, so that's more burning. Right now, I just have uh, ascendancy on. There's a few different options you can have, a few different solar rocket launchers. Um, this just seems, I don't know, it's a really good 
baseline rocket launcher, uh, I might have to put on the Palmyra Stasis one just because that's just such a good all-around rocket launcher. But this is solar, and if I'm running um, the Phantom Might, that will be helpful there. Um, before I change over to the other characters, I will also just kind of go through a few other preparatory things. These are my bounties that I'm stacking. Um, I've mostly just been doing this just when I have a free moment or two now that I'm done playing Elden Ring. It's not like anything super crazy. Uh, I have some weeklies in here and things like that. It's possible some of these may go away. Like Bungie has definitely said that, you know, you can't really stack bounties and expect some not to depreciate. I don't know what they're going to do with that. But I have um, tried to get rid of ones like from the event and, and Iron Banner and stuff that we know are going to depreciate. Uh, so I'm kind of uh, stuck with these. I think I have maybe fewer on other characters. I'll check. But uh, And then in terms of inventory stuff, I have Max Ascendant Alloy. I have Max Neutral Element. So I am good to go uh, on the crafting game as soon as the season starts here. Uh, probably should get some more Ascendant Shards. But I have like a Postmaster full of Prisms, I think, somewhere. Uh, so if I really need those, I can, but I don't, I'm not going to like start masterworking exotics before I, I know what the builds are. Um, mask, max, uh, resident alloy crafting will obviously take a little bit of time to spool up because you're going to need to find all the frames. I assume there's going to be, uh, six frames for the seasonal weapons. And then we just learned that the dungeon has six weapons. I kind of assume all of those will be craftable. Um, and then I don't know about things like iron banner weapons. We're not sure if those are going to be uh, potentially craftable yet. Or the new trials weapons were, or world drop weapons. We haven't really <laughs> found that out yet. So uh, I would, I never have enough upgrade modules in the season starts, but because the new power grind is not really um, that big of an increase, I, we might not need these as much as we did before. Uh, I got max trans, got transmog maxed out uh, for uh, any cool new armor sets. Um, maxed out all over here. I. Uh, just get paralyzed in spending these so that's why i'm always capped but um, as i was doing kind of other stuff i was also getting a lot of weapons up to level 20 from the last season i have most everything except raid weapons at level 20 um, that is a uh, craftable weapon and don't know how many of these i will actually end up using considering you know some of these are void and i'm going to be doing solar things and stuff like that but we will uh see because a lot of those are really good some of those i have you know enhanced perks on and things like that so titan um i think titan is the most solar options potentially um this is my uh thing i am running with for immediate uh, start of the season here um the exotic i'm doing is uh, path of burning steps which solar final blows improve weapon damage and you're harder to freeze with stasis, but, you know, whatever. So I figure I'm going to be using um, a good amount of solar weapons. Uh, this is supposed to be, well, it's going to be one of these. Xenophage or Air Apparent. Machine guns are getting a buff. Xenophage is getting unnerfed. Um, these don't have any crazy burn effects, but they are solar weapons, and machine guns are getting a buff, so I really wanted to use um, one of those. And then in terms of other weapons there, I've got my Demolitionist Adrenaline Junkie BXR Battler which that is a pretty sick weapon. Um, if I want a special secondary instead, I've got the explosive personality I leveled up, um, and then I took out Arctic Haze <laughs> back in the day just to be a, a solar uh, auto rifle in case I want that. Um, and then I have Wastelander here. I just really like this uh, shotgun. And if I want um, a like an auto rifle or something in the first slot, I will probably use this crate, which is really good. And that is my... My plan for this guy, most of the time I was using Osteostriga this season, um, passing that around, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm very curious about the machine gun buff. I, at first I was trying to maybe do a build with Actium War Rig, but I really wanted to do something with Soul. Like, I know what Actium War Rig does, and like, yes, that would benefit, you know, an AR and a machine gun at the same time, but I really wanted to do something with Solar. There are a lot of Solar options. There's Lorelei, which I don't have on here, but Lorelei, whatever. Uh, I don't like that since the nerf, since it takes away your class thing, but maybe that would still be good. Especially when we don't know what changes are coming to Sunspots. Uh, speaking of Sunspots, we have Phoenix Cradle. And Phoenix Cradle uh, makes Sunspots last twice as long. Uh, or Sun Warrior last twice as long. And that seems like that is potentially to be good, so I do have that out. Here, Heart of Immos Light, I use this literally all season of Void. Still applies to Solar. Still, it's not a Void-specific thing. Like, this seems like this can still be really good. Uh, for uh, any 3.0 element, considering how fast you get your abilities back. I'm just kind of tired of using it, so I'm going to switch for now. And then, I don't have any arms on me, but you get the idea there. So we'll see what happens with this. And then I got my Disco Ship with the uh, cool shader. Make sure you get that before time runs out.
Hunter. Hunter, uh, this is not exactly what I was going to do. I was thinking I was going to do this. I was going to do Deliverance um, with Choke Clip. It's just, I just really love having a Fusion Rifle in the slot, if, especially if I'm going to have something like um, Sunshot here. Thought about doing Prometheus Lens. I know it's getting buffed. It just, it still doesn't feel great. I, I mean, I'll try it. That's why I have it out. I want to try it after the buff. It just, it's something about it, even compared to the other Trace Rifles, I just don't really like as much. If I did that, I'd probably switch to this. Uh, or I have a Demolitionist one of these somewhere, but it'd be that. Um, and then I have Cataclysmic, the Linear Fusion Rifle. I'm still looking for one with Bait and Switch. I've gotten a ton of these and you down to Bait and Switch on it yet. But linear fusion rifles are going to be really good, and this is going to be um, a very solid option. Very curious to try recurrent impact. Uh, once machine guns get buffed, this thing is essentially 21% delirium, a subsistence one for all, and land tank for damage reduction. Um, I know it's stasis, but I really want to see this after the machine gun buff. Uh, this, again, we have kind of just like generic charge with, or solar well build, and then I have a young Ahamkara spine build um, based on throwing a whole lot of mine grenades, which is fun in PvP and PvE. There are a couple other hunter exotics you can use. Um, there's obviously Celestial, but that's just like a very boring solar uh, exotic. And then there's Shards of Galanor, which is also boring because they, I mean, they nerfed it way back when, and then they capped it at, you know, 50% regen. Um, I'm also kind of assuming that they're probably going to be solar exotics, or at least on, on some of the classes, there's going to be solar exotics. So I'm waiting to see um, what happens there. Stompies are getting a huge nerf, uh, at least in PvP, for airborne effectiveness, so it's finally time to take Stompies off, Hunters, um, <laughs> unfortunately, but because I had those on for a very long time, um, and then I had Orpheus on for a lot of Void, and yeah, that's my uh, setup for this guy. I like my, my transmog here. I have two uh, blue items that I've transmog here that I just like the torn up look of these, so um, yeah, so that is my plan there, and I think... I think that's it. I mean, we just, there's so much we don't know that you can only plan to a certain extent. If it's ARC, I've just totally screwed myself and I'll have to start from the ground up on day one. Fully understand that that's the case, but I just wanted to make sure that uh, I had something ready to go uh, if it was indeed going to be solar. And I am really begging on that because I've just, I've seen too many clues that it's solar in terms of like sandbox changes they made and like Lorelei's not getting a nerf because something is changing with Sun Warrior. Like, hmm. You know, what is that? What could that mean? I like things like that. So uh, anyway, this is what I am rolling with at the start. This will, as soon as new weapons are dropping, I'm probably just going to start using those just to test them out. But this is what I'm rolling in with. Um, you guys can share your own builds uh, in the comments. And I'm curious what everyone is going to start with. So uh, thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon. Take care.